everyone, welcome back to another edition of Metcast Movie Journal. This is the show where I do quick reviews for the movies that I watch, give them a score out of 10, and then add them to my list. So let's see what movie I'm reviewing today. On May 28th, I watched Surrogates, which came out in 2009. Set in the not-too-distant future, in the year 2054, this Bruce Willis-led tale about a world where everyone lives their lives vicariously through their surrogate robot avatars is listed on IMDb as an action sci-fi thriller, but I think it's a bit of a stretch to call this one thrilling. It definitely doesn't help that having never seen this one, I jokingly called out the big twist during the Ving Rhames opening monologue, because it was just that level of cheesy and predictable. Sometimes I try to ignore the year a movie came out, but it feels important here, because by 2009 it just feels like so much of this could have been better. And where if it had come out in the 80s, which is oddly what it feels like, an 80s movie, then it could have been viewed as an original idea and a cutting look at where we were headed. But by the time 2009 rolls around, this becomes more of a current day social commentary, and I think ends up feeling more preachy and just pointing out the obvious in an almost naggy kind of way. The core concept here, that people would completely give up their real lives to let these robot versions of how they see themselves go run around living their lives for them, seems so clearly like an idea written by an angry older person tired of how obsessed with technology everyone's become. I feel the exact same way about The Dead Don't Die. Both films end up ironically coming across with the same level of closed-minded selfishness that a lot of teenagers express when they start whining. I just think it's too easy to judge other generations for how they live, and this idea that technology is at some point going to take over our lives in some maniacal evil way like this is a bit silly to me. It all feels a bit too similar to the old argument that television was going to rot our brains. It seems to me we're already at a point where our only hope to solve our problems created by technology will have to be through more, better technologies. And of course, there will always be factions and groups of people that choose to keep living that Amish lifestyle, but that's never been a reason for conflict before. And even here in Surrogates, it didn't actually seem like the people who didn't want to plug in were being forced to. It actually cost money to buy one of these fancy surrogates, and the rich had the best with the most upgrades. They certainly weren't forcing them on the poor. So the only cause for conflict was because this person or group, I don't want to spoil too much, wants to destroy all the surrogates, purely because of how unethical and immoral it was for everyone to be living this way. It's just such an interesting and complex issue, worthy of some real debate, and the fact that this movie never really even questioned the moral correctness to eliminating the robots has to easily be the part of this one that bothers me the most. I hate when movies present these massively complex ideas so one-sidedly like this. Like, what about all those otherwise handicapped people who are living great lives, relatively speaking, thanks to these amazing surrogates? A lot of movies fail to explain and explore the deeper repercussions from the outcome of the plot, and to a varying degree, I can usually forgive them, but this one had some huge ones that were left unexplored, and it really bothered me. What could have been something pretty unique ended up being just another disappointing futuristic sci-fi flick, but my love of the genre definitely makes me like this one more than it was good. It still didn't end, up, didn't end up with a great score, though, getting a 4 out of 10 and landing at number 1,194 on my list, putting it right here, in between Halloween H2O 20 years later and Nine Lives. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another edition of Metcalf's Movie Journal. Be sure to click like and subscribe for new videos every week, and if you have a movie that you really want me to watch, be sure to drop me a comment.